Um, let's start with you, Jai. Can you tell me a little bit about the story of Divergent? Yes, uh, the story of Divergent centers around a uh, character of Triss. Um, basically, in this world, uh, teenagers are uh, reach a certain age when they are forced to make a decision whether they want to stay in the faction they're born into or, uh, or choose one that's um, perhaps more appropriate, and that's determined by an aptitude test they take. She opts to, uh, to go to uh, the Dauntless faction, and uh, this, uh, this kind of first installment is her journey through the training process and then uh, discovering that there's a conspiracy to destroy Divergence which she has recently found out she is one of. Excellent. Well done. You really <laughs> stepped it up. <laughs> um, Next. You lost All me right. for a second there. <laughs> so, Miles. Yes. You know, you two both in this movie really get to, I think, have some fun and play, yeah. you know, the bad guys. I mean, you're not, you're not the villain that necessarily Kate, maybe. Yeah. But you get to really... Did, was it fun to play? Yeah, it's nice. I mean, I think villain is such a term usually reserved for characters in literature. And so being that this movie is an adaptation, you know, from the book, yeah, Peter's kind of, you know, one of the, you know, one of the villains in here. He's certainly an antagonist for Triss's character. And for me, it was exciting really to take it from you know, someone in the book who maybe is a bit more one dimensional uh, to actually flesh them out to a full person because nobody's just mean for the sake of being mean. And for me, kind of the exciting part of it was, uh, you know, figuring out what uh, what is going on inside of Peter that has him kind of, you know, lashing out and picking on Triss and really honing in on her character specifically. And do you think your familiarity with Shailene from working together before allowed you in some ways to go farther because of your trust and friendship that you could be meaner? Yeah, absolutely. I think, you know, having worked with Shailene in The Spectacular now, I think when it came time to, you know, do some of the fight choreography, perhaps if it was a girl that I really didn't know at all, I would have been, you know, even more timid than I already was because it is weird, you know, throwing punches at a, at a female. That just was, you know, felt weird for me. But, yeah, you know, Shailene kept, you know, egging me on, saying I'm tough, I can take it, and, you know, don't be afraid to, you know, to come on, throw a punch, you, you wuss, and all that stuff, so... I think it was, uh, yeah, it was much more comfortable. And you too as well. I mean, Eric is, is pretty uh, militant and clearly, I think, believes, you know, he's doing the right thing and really making them tougher. But did you have some fun sort of torturing everyone? Absolutely. Yeah. Yeah? Did you, were you uh, similar to Theo, I guess, who came on and was sort of like a Not drill sergeant at all? at all? Were you, you weren't in, in the training way. at all? Okay. Uh, <laughs> no, I mean. Well, you missed all the training. I missed the yeah, training. Yeah, he came, uh. uh I came late. Training was built in. Yeah. You know. Theo was more of a leader for us uh, during the training. He was kind of, he actually did a lot of the boot camp stuff in character, which was uh, cool, especially for that like, is cool. some of the extras. Or not extras, but yeah, kind of extras. See, I missed yeah, that whole process. People. I couldn't comment on it. Yeah. Which is a shame. Yeah, I would have loved to have you there. Um, but but regard, aside from the training during the actual movie, was it fun to be that sort of bad guy in the Taskmaster for all that other? Yeah, yeah, tasks? no, it was. It was cool. But like you said, I mean, it was always about less about being the bad guy and more about trying to, um, you know, buy into the the philosophy of the Dauntless and and be there in a sense. It's it, you know, it's tough love. How did is that how you viewed um, the character of Eric? Yeah, yeah. Um, and now some of these questions you guys have been getting a lot from the press today, but like, you know, the what faction you would be in, I'm sure you've got that a hundred times. What, you yeah. guys, what faction would you guys have? Well, I started out, you know, with, with Dauntless, yeah. and then, you know, I've kind of been sitting on it and letting it really, you know, ferment, uh, ferment and float around. And I think Amity yeah, would be a lot mm. of fun. I yeah. think Am I'd just like to be in a field kind of harvesting and just hanging out. Mm. Not a whole lot of pressure in Amity. They're in... They're in. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> they're in it or there isn't? Amity. Okay. Um, and uh, <laughs> <laughs> tell me a little bit about working with Neil as a director in that experience. Yeah, Neil, uh, <coughs> yeah, working, with, working with Neil was great. I was a big uh, fan of, of Limitless, so I was excited to work with Neil, and I think... You know, for this movie, I think he does a good job of, of really creating this society that, you know, when you read a book, your imagination can really run wild. There's a lot of room for, um, you know, for adjectives, and you can really fully flesh out an image. And that's tough when you're talking about making that into a movie. <clears throat> I think Neil did a great job. Every time I talked to him on set, you could tell he was thinking of, like, yeah. you know, a million different the, things. The next ten things. Yeah, exactly. So, But, yeah, he was very present. He's smart. He's a great guy. Yeah. 
And what was it like having Veronica Roth around and, and the author there? I mean, is that, did you find her a resource or did you sort of let her do your own thing? And Yeah, I didn't really I like could, yeah. delve in with on, the, on a sort of, yeah, it wasn't really a resource. I mean, it was I nice. I kept asking her cool. for spoilers. Every day at lunch, I'd ask her what happens to Peter in Allegiant and she wouldn't tell me. Um, and I know you guys filmed the movie in Chicago. It was set in Chicago, and obviously yeah. a big group of young people, younger people, making a, a movie together like this. Did you guys have a lot of fun in Chicago? Was that a great sort of experience being there? It was a great experience. Yeah, yeah. we had a lot of fun. We had a bowl. Well, usually, you know, from the, the movies I had done previous to this, it was like if you were, if I was on a movie, I was the only person around my age. Maybe I have a love interest. Maybe I have a best friend. But other than that, it's kind of. You know, you, you rarely are get, getting to hang out with uh, with other actors uh, your age and similar experiences and, you know, just kind of, you know, hang out. And I was happy to have that. Mm -hmm. It was just a long shoot. Um, and I know, I, I think the movie's obviously just sort of a piece of epic entertainment. I mean, no one's looking for this to change the world or have really deeper themes. But people seem to be finding deeper themes in this movie. Did you think about any of them at any point in this process or even now after you've seen it? I know you haven't seen it yet. Uh, well, yeah. I mean, yeah, yeah, I mean... I think they were always there. I don't know if that's something I arrived at. There's a lot of teenagers that are kind of attracted to this. I guess, you know, they're called young adult novels, but mm. when I was a kid, they were just... Novels. Yeah, they were just novels. They didn't have this kind of, this genre put on it, but, you know, for a, for a particular, I guess, you know, if it's a young teenage girl and she sees uh, the character of Triss and she's, you know, around that same age and she's figuring out who she is and maybe she doesn't belong in this clique, this clique, this clique, I think that... Triss is a really, uh, you know, she's a nice hero to have. She's mm. not bitter. She's not jaded. She's very, you know, truthful, honest, kind of going through this moment of self-discovery and really evolving into a completely different person by the end of this mm. thing. So, And then for guys, you know, it's got a bunch of action and, you know, guns and just, you know, cool fight sequences. Cool. I'm out of time. Thanks, Joe. Right on, man. Thank you. Thanks.